Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your end of November 2022 general tarot update. It's Serena here. So I am oh see I'm a Sag, so I want to have these cards myself. I mean, so these cards are important to me. <laughs> oh wow. I like Wow. The better it gets, the better it gets. So oh, let me see if I can draw this back a little bit. So we just had a, a new moon in Sag yesterday as I record this. this I'm recording this on the 24th. It was the 23rd. So Sag season is officially upon us. The heart of the matter is a 10 of pentacles. This is a card of affluence this is a great omen for money this is a this is family money and this is uh inheritance is a big family money type of a thing now in the past position we have the three of swords and this is a card of heartbreak rejection so with these two cards it's it's like something makes up for hurt feelings that existed in the past. And I mean, I can't tell you how this is going to play out for you, but it, it could be so many different things where, you know how they say that money has the ability to kind of smooth over a lot of things, uh, that kind of vibe that something that you get money in the near future, this reading is supposed to go through the end of the month. So Jupiter has just turned direct as well. Let's all, you know, just pray, pray that this is going to happen for us because I'm, I'm down for it, man. I am down for it. So whether it is an inheritance or whether it is some kind of other money, maybe a, a financial gift, from a relative that perhaps they're going to give it to you for your birthday, but it's a substantial amount of money. It's certainly nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. The higher message is the queen of pentacles. I feel like if you were to get this money, you would plug it into your home. Um, that's the feeling I get that you want to have a comfortable home. And this is not always the case for Sag. Some of us can spend quite a long time either barely being at home, maybe just being at home to go to sleep and then going out most of the time. But there might be a season in your life where you really want to nest and you want to have comfortable, a comfortable sur surroundings and you, you're like, well, gosh, if only I had this money, I could be able to do X, Y, and Z. And maybe now you're going to be able to do that. And the queen of pentacles can also be for me like a home business, especially if you are a mother, or we would just extend that to a parent who is staying home with their children. And you would like to perhaps, um, be there, you want to raise your children, but at the same time have your own business, then this could certainly be the case. So from my mouth to God's ears, right? What crosses you? What thwarts this wonderful plan? The chariot card is um, being read in a challenging position. So the chariot is about being able to, to me, one of the meanings of the chariot card is some kind of victory that comes because you put all your attention on one thing and you ignore all the distractions around you. So in the challenge position, this could be that you're having a hard time doing that. Maybe there is something that you want to accomplish and it has a um, some kind of a, a career financial feel to it. 
but it it's hard for you to to make it happen because you're so focused on the fact like the three of swords maybe the emotional response that you have given to it has been discouraging and you've done that to yourself um This is also a card of travel or like a vehicle. And maybe that's something that is impeding your ability to um, do something that helps you to get that money. Maybe if you, you're, there's an inheritance that you can receive or some family money, but you have to find a way to get there <laughs> to pick up the check, you know? Uh, it could be as simple as that. What is coming in is the Ace of Pentacles. This is yet more uh, confirmation of the money situation. Pentacles relate to earth energy. So um, another possible interpretation of that Ten of uh, Pentacles, I often think of Capricorn and the Three of swords could be some kind of maybe this is a rebound situation and you feel like um with the queen of pentacles this could be somebody who is more reliable perhaps than the person you were previously with um they are more grounded they're more established and if you have been with someone who is kind of flaky I was going to say a flaky uh, 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 air sign like Gemini or Libra. Aquarius, out of all the sign, all the air signs tends to be more stable because it's a fixed sign. But anyway, um, you have a future with this person. That's what I would say the Ace of Pentacles. But also this could be a new job. And maybe um, for some of you that has been an issue where you feel that you deserve more money and you didn't get a raise. Maybe that's what the three of swords is all about is that you feel rejected and undervalued, uh, at your place of employment. So you're looking for new work. Uh, the queen of pentacles could suggest a home based business and the ace of pentacles can be like a windfall of money or starting a business yourself. The outcome is the nine of cups. This, the, when I talk about outcome cards, even though this is labeled for the end of November, it is by no means to suggest that everything is happening in this time frame. But just like this idea, if you start something, you know, do you have a chance of having something good happen? Nine of cups is like wish fulfillment. And, um, so this is about getting what you want and feeling good about it. And they often point out that the person can be smug. I mean, I don't know if that is the case. I think, or, or why that would be the case. I think the number nine, if it's connected to Jupiter through, you know, astrology, the ninth house, that Jupiter might tend to be a little bit arrogant when it, you know, at certain times. And maybe if, if other people did, you know, didn't, uh, have like a high opinion of you. Yeah. I mean, maybe if this is you, if you have quit your job and you have started something yourself or have gotten a new job, that is way better. The temptation can be, look at me now and even with coworkers, if you feel that, um, uh, that might be what the three of swords is too. It could be like a three, uh, party affair. In other words, you were competing against somebody else and they got the job and maybe that kind of rubbed you the wrong way. You, you're not necessarily blaming your coworker for, um, somehow, being, being, uh, responsible for it, but you still might feel a little bit, 
um, angry that it turned out the way that it did. So the, I guess the ultimate takeaway from this reading is all's well that ends well. So if you have had any kind of recent feelings of rejection, a la the three of swords, Sag, um, just think about that nine of cups and think about getting what you want. All right, that's what I have for you. And uh, I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, I'm promoting my double readings, my double astrology readings that are a special price as a package deal. One hour of natal chart interpretations with one hour of transits. It's called my deep dive reading. I have another type of these types of readings with a full length tarot reading and the chart analysis or the transits and that's called my, the whole enchilada and I have um, standalone readings too. You can find out more information at the link below. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of November. Yay, Sag season.